walk down any street, browse online, or just chat with Siri or Alexa, and you're bombarded with AI this and AI that. It's like the whole world's gone AI mad. But let's hit pause and ask, is there real genius under this AI gloss, or is it just a shiny new sticker on the same old box? Welcome to the age of AI omnipresence, where artificial intelligence isn't just a technology, it's a brand. But beneath the shimmering surface of AI claims lies a more complex story. Today, we peel back the layers to uncover the truth behind the AI obsession sweeping across businesses. History shows us the allure of buzzwords in business. Yesterday, it was blockchain, then metaverse, and today, AI dominates the dialogue. Fueling the AI frenzy is its projected economic gold rush. A McKinsey report from June 2023 forecasts that generative AI could generate trillions in economic value globally. This prospect is companies scrambling to don the AI badge, aiming to attract investment and secure a piece of the AI pie. In fact, the frenzy for purchasing domains ending in AI has turned a tiny island into a digital powerhouse. Picture this. A Caribbean paradise, famous for sun, sand and now the richest in website domains. That's right, Anguilla, a speck of overseas British territory on the map, is riding the giant wave of AI. By turning its .ai domain into a treasure chest of digital gold. Anguilla, with its postcard perfect vistas, holds an unexpected key to the AI kingdom. Since the 90s, it's been the gatekeeper of the .ai domain, a detail most overlooked until the AI boom. Fast forward to today, and the island is cashing in millions, all thanks to a tech trend it never saw coming. In January 2024 alone, Anguilla raked in $3 million from domain fees, a number that's only expected to climb. This domain name Goldmine has transformed the island's economy, with AI's surge turning Anguilla's good luck into a financial bonanza, fueling a third of its government's budget without writing a single line of code. The trigger? The launch of ChatGPT in November 2022. Following its debut, .ai domain sales in Anguilla skyrocketed, quadrupling in just five months. This digital domain rush has reshaped the island's economy, proving that in the world of AI, sometimes the biggest winners are the ones you least expect. Alright, having explored the pristine AI haven of Anguilla, free from deceptive AI branding, let's pivot to a more pressing issue. We delve into the widespread use of AI in marketing and sales tactics. The burning question remains. Is this approach misleading? This week, Mark Zuckerberg, the boss of Meta, he couldn't stop talking about it. In a big meeting about how Meta is doing, he said AI 27 times. During the meeting, which was about how much money Meta is making, Zuckerberg kept coming back to AI. He mentioned it 22 times in just his first talk, and then a few more times later. Zuckerberg thinks AI is super important for Meta. He said it's going to change all their apps and services. Like on Instagram, they started using AI to suggest videos, and people spend 24% more time watching them. Talking about AI isn't cheap. Meta plans to spend 30 to $33 billion just on AI stuff this year. They're betting big that AI will help them sell more ads and make their apps like Instagram even cooler. After Zuckerberg's big talk on AI, people got excited about Meta's future. Their stock price even jumped up 14%. It looks like everyone's watching to see how this AI bet turns out. But watch out for AI scammers. Keep watching as we will reveal one of the first cases of AI misuse that has remained hidden from the public eye. Do not dare tune out since we will be revealing later the recent first AI washing case ever. The FTC uncovered a scandal related to the misuse of AI promises. Their claim was as follows. In the shadows of the e-commerce boom lies a tale of deception and loss, where over $22 million vanished into the void of false promises. At the center of this storm are Roman Cresto, John Cresto, and Andrew Chapman, the architects of a scheme that preyed on the dreams of aspiring entrepreneurs. Starting in early 2020, these men launched Empire E-Commerce and Onyx, dazzling consumers with visions of becoming silent partners in a venture teeming with profit, all supposedly backed by venture capital and cutting-edge AI technology. The trio promised to manage everything from product selection to customer service, luring in investors with the allure of automated stores that could turn hefty profits of 8-20% to monthly thanks to their so-called AI machine learning prowess. But the dream quickly turned nightmarish. Investors, having poured thousands into the scheme, saw no returns. Instead, they faced crushing debts as the online stores floundered, violated platform policies, and were shut down, leaving many banned from major e-commerce sites. 
After Empire crumbled and was sold off, the deceptive trio didn't stop. They rebranded their scheme as Automator's AI, again claiming to harness AI to uncover lucrative products and coach consumers towards elusive online success, continuing their trail of deceit under the watchful eyes of the law. The California court accepted a settlement. It imposed a judgment in the amount of $21,765,902.65 in favor of the commission and halted any business activity of the people involved in the scam. As promised, we are getting to the AI washing cases, but do not dare to leave before our grand reveal that explains how to catch a killer, or in this case someone that is misrepresenting the use of AI in their business. AI washing probably got its name as a variant on green washing presenting corporate activities as sustainable when they're not. March 18th, 2024 marked a turning point as the SEC took a stand against deceptive practices in the tech-savvy investment world. Delphia and Global Predictions, two firms claiming AI prowess, were hit with hefty fines for misleading the public. Delphia and Global Predictions caught the Securities and Exchange Commission's eye by boasting about their artificial intelligence strategies. They claimed their investment wisdom was powered by AI with Delphia touting its role in using AI for investment processes and Global Predictions calling itself the first regulated AI financial advisor. But the reality? Their AI claims were more fiction than fact. Securities and Exchange Commission's Chair Gary Gensler and Enforcement Director Gerby S. Gruhl didn't mince words but calling out the firms for AI washing, hyping AI capabilities they didn't actually have. This misleading trend not only confuses investors but also damages the integrity of the tech industry. The financial toll was clear. Delphia was fined $225,000, while Global Predictions settled with $175,000. These penalties underline a stern message from the SEC against the backdrop of growing concerns over AI's misuse in investment circles. This case might seem small in the grand scheme, but it's a significant step in the SEC's broader battle against the misuse of AI in finance. As technology evolves, so does the sophistication of scams, making the SEC's vigilance crucial for investor protection. The use of artificial intelligence and technology as investment tools has gained enormous momentum. Approximately 40% of SP500 companies mentioned AI in their latest earnings report. However, it seems companies are fudging numbers. A study of 2,830 European startups by London-based MMC Ventures found 40% of those that claimed to be AI startups had barely any AI at all. According to the Wall Street Journal, one company which recently raised nearly $30 million from AI-focused VC funds may hardly have any AI capabilities or expertise. The scenario is a bit daunting. Why do you think these AI cases are occurring? Is it fair to most companies that are in fact using artificial intelligence? Before you start feeling like you yourself could be an AI scammer or could fall prey to one, keep watching. Bottom line, most of us are confused about the misleading cases with AI. And the reason? It is surprisingly simple, but extremely hard to answer. For the answer lies in, what is AI? Let me ask again, what is AI? Pretty sure my boss who is running my AI voice made a mistake. We have been talking about AI all the time, and yet we do not even know what AI even is. That is the question in the American Bar Association's mind and in the European Parliament. I asked Google the definition of AI and the difference with AGI artificial generated intelligence and I quote the answer. AI is a computer science discipline that enables software to solve novel and difficult tasks with human level performance. In contrast, an AGI system can solve problems in various domains, like a human being, without manual intervention. So, AI requires manual intervention? What does that mean anyway? So I asked ChatGPT to answer what is AI, I quote. Artificial intelligence AI refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think and learn like humans. It encompasses a broad range of technologies and methods, including machine learning where computers are trained to learn from data and improve their performance over time, natural language processing which enables machines to understand and respond to human language, robotics, and computer vision allowing machines to interpret and respond to visual data, and more. AI can be used for a variety of applications from simple tasks like filtering spam emails to complex ones like driving autonomous vehicles, diagnosing diseases, or powering personal assistants like Siri and Alexa. Sounds like everything is AI or uses AI. Not clear at all. 
so I decided to ask Gemini. I quote, Artificial intelligence AI is basically computer systems that are programmed to be intelligent. In other words, they can do things that normally require human thinking, like solving problems, learning from data, and making decisions. AI is a broad field, so there are many different ways it can be used. For example, AI can be used to recommend products to you online, power chatbots that answer your questions, recognize faces in photos, help self-driving cars navigate the road. So what have I learned so far? AI is so hard to define that not even ChatGPT and Gemini can agree on its definition. Clearly lawyers must be having the worst time trying to legislate AI, I would. Best advice. My two cents are when marketing your business or investing in a company be specific about what role AI is playing. Keep watching for more content on business and tech. Give us a like and subscribe.